Hi, this is a first appearance of Wolverine comic. And I'm going to tell you the year when I open it up because I don't remember. And I bought this in the 90s. I was a big Wolverine fan as a uh, young child, as a, as a child and then into my teens and this was before the the Wolverine movies came came out and um in in theaters the big budget uh Marvel movies and uh which I really liked and this is the original conception of this is the original way that Wolverine looked in the comic book and as you can see his costume is totally different over the years sometimes they'd put hair on his back and he'd be really hairy and uh, sometimes he didn't have much hair they had all different interpretations of him so this is the original appearance ever. Some of these are worth, some people have sold them for 3000 if they're in perfect condition. Mine's not in perfect condition, so I got a low estimate on it. They said I could sell it for hundreds, but I'm not going to say how much. And it's just sentimental to me. Let's open it up, and we're going to read through it. Stan Lee presents The Incredible Hulk. That's cool. And now, The Wolverine. Okay. Instant recap department. Old Greenskin has been lured to Quebec, Canada as part of a fantastic plan to cure the wild-eyed woods beast called the Wendigo. So he's in Canada trying to cure this Wendigo or something. But where the Emerald Man Brood is concerned, nothing is predictable. This must be the Emerald Man Brood. So instead of curing Wendy, the Hulk is embroiled in battle with him. Well, it would seem that that's what happened. He looks like a bad guy right there. He looks... I thought he was something weird. I thought he was bad. If you freaks want to tangle with someone, why not try your luck against me? So that's what Wolverine said, trying to be cool and everything. Like everyone, that how he's supposed to be cool. Like Hugh Jackman, everyone knows he's <laughs> the ultimate Wolverine. Okay. A battle that rages through the forest until this godly garbed gentleman intrudes upon the scene, claws barred, teeth clenched, his face awash with almost feral fury. So, there he is. With astounding speed, the snarling wolverine hurtles forward, his very momentum scattering the two massive monsters who loom before him. Heads up, Harry's. The Wolverine is coming through. Huh? Little man attacks Hulk? That's about the size of it, Sonny. The government sent me to take care of you, Hulk. And I'm a gent who always does his job. Stand still, little man. Or Hulk will smash. Sorry, Hulk. But seeing as how you're about two feet taller than I am, and how you outweigh me by about a hundred stone. I'll just keep moving if you please. Because moving is the best thing I do. Bah! Little man jumps around like a big rabbit. Like a wolverine, if you don't mind, Hulk. Like I've... Like I've said, I've got claws forged out of diamond hard adamantium. Know what I'm talking about? and the power to back them up. And since those claws can't seem to pierce that incredible emerald hide of yours, why don't I see how they fare against your shaggy friend? And he tries to, uh, 
he tries to hit a uh, Wendigo. Ah, that's much better. Startled by the sudden savage slashing, the Wendigo takes a single half step backwards, and the Wolverine is quick to press his advantage. He goes and kicks him as soon as he takes a step, step back. The weird Wendigo, maybe the only word he knows how to say is Wendigo. Let's see. Wendigo. He flies back. So that's your name now, is it? Back at the base, they said that you were only a legend. That you didn't exist. Well, when I'm done with you, Shaggy, you won't. And <laughs> he kicks him as hard as he can. Huh? Where's little man going? Come back. Little man, come back and fight. In case you hadn't noticed, Hulk, the Wolverine already has a sparring partner. And though you might think a battle between an eight and a half mo foot monster and a five foot five inch man would be a trifle one sided, we assure you it is not. The Wendigo is weakening. He's bigger than the Hulk, but he's not as nearly he's not nearly as impregnable. Hulk doesn't understand. First the little man fights Hulk, and now he fights Hulk's enemy. But if but if Hulk's enemy is little man's enemy, then little man is Hulk's friend. Hulk's friend? Yes, little man is Hulk's friend. So Hulk will help little man fight Hulk's enemy. He vocalizes his simple thoughts. And here's some uh, weird, well, some old commercials from back then or whatever. And uh, looks good. Uh, the, the most awesomely powerful leg muscles on earth propel the green behemoth across the glade to plow with staggering impact into a shaggy foe. Hulk has come, little friend, to help you beat Wendigo. But the Emerald Man Brute may have spoken a trifle prematurely as suddenly Wendigo Gay sound man sound that he made with purple shorts. No, he's he's straight, he's uh whatever he is Hulk. Uh, I don't think they can make him gay like they did Deadpool. No. Okay, Wendigo is strong, but Hulk and Hulk's friend are stronger. Hulk and Hulk's friend will smash Wendigo. Don't understand why that big green brute suddenly thinks I'm his buddy. But it's a little misconception if, uh, well, I guess I can make use of it. Quickly, my friend, Hulk. While I've got the Wendigo distracted, attack him. Ha! It's a good plan, friend. Hulk will do as you say. But first, little friend must go away from Wendigo. Because what Hulk does now only Hulk can do. And Hulk does not want Hulk's new friend to be hurt. Not even by accident. Wendigo! Incredible. The Hulk threw the Wendigo with force enough to uproot a stand of trees. But the wood beast is still conscious. The Hulk did his best, but it wasn't good enough. This is what he's thinking in his head. So it's up to me to finish this little Donnie Brute and fast. With the savage ferocity of the creature for which he is named, the Wolverine hurls himself upon the furry nightmare. There is a shrill hissing as his adamant as the adamantium talons flash through the air. A sickening thwuck as they strike. Another commercial like they have on TV and YouTube and stuff now and still comic books and when the Wolverine rises he rises alone ha good little friend did good you smashed ugly Wendigo once 
and now Wendigo is dead. He should be Hulk, but he's not. Apparently, the Wendigo is immortal, as the legends say. My talons only uh, rendered him unconscious. A strange, uneasy silence settles over the scene then. The threat of the Wendigo has ended, or so it seems, and the Hulk peers at his pint-sized companion in quite confusion. He does not know what to say to the Wolverine now that the battle is done. <laughs> His brain can't fathom once a year. But he's good, so... He does not know how to respond. He should respond to this somber little man. But when the Wolverine suddenly lashes out with customary savagery, the Hulk's response becomes almost automatic. All right, Greenskin, it's your turn to take a thrashing. And he starts attacking the Hulk. Puny little man, Hulk thought you were Hulk's friend. Hulk trusted you, but you betrayed Hulk. Attacked Hulk, just like all other puny humans. Hulk is known. But little man made a fool of Hulk. And for that, Hulk will smash. You have to catch me first, Dudley. Nobody is fast enough to do that. So, uh, so I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go into, uh, I'm not going to go into the rest of this whole comic book, because I don't think that would be right, revealing what happens in the entire comic book. But, um, hopefully they'll release a reprint of this that's available to the public as a new thing. You don't have to go back and buy some messed up old copy for like $200 or whatever. Uh, some of my, in the 90s, some of them sold for $80, I think, if they're kind of really messed up. So, um, this is the comic book, Hulk number 181. If you want to read it the rest of the way, let me see if I can get some conclusion to it, at least so it's a good story. Let's see what happens here. I don't want to give away the ending. There's a strong man, look. Somebody made somebody who was skinny and turned big and buff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got scratches from chopping giant tree branches down. <laughs> I didn't do it with my claws either, but Wolverine scratched me. I'm really the Hulk. I'm <laughs> really the Hulk. I'm, I'm in my man form now. In short, I know what happens. That was just their first meetup. They're kind of, they're friends, but sometimes they work together. That's This sums up very accurately their relationship over comic book history and movie history, I believe, if they're going to continue to produce these movies, and they will. So, um, uh, the Hulk sometimes gets angry at Wolverine. Sometimes Wolverine gets angry at him. They both think they're better than each other in some way and they kind of fight here and there, then they'll never kill each other. I don't think they'd ever do that. But then then uh, sometimes they work together and, and they're good friends and all that, even though they don't really say. Maybe the Hulk would, but because uh, he's kind of supposed to be ni a little nicer than the Wolverine. But that's it. So they met up. They instantly uh, had that relationship where they're how they've sustained it over the years. Uh, friends and not quite foes, but they argue here and there, but they're friends. So that's it. Uh, this this establishes it in this comic book. They, they, uh, they did good. They're both good. They did something a Wendigo in the name of good. So uh, that's it. Uh, it's entertaining. It's very entertaining. Hulk number 181. Yeah. If you really like Wolverine, you could get one while they're affordable. I saw an ad that said 1972. Let's see when the publishing date is. Uh, 1974. I used to want to be Wolverine. I used to want to be an actor as Wolverine, but I didn't, I didn't know there was an audition for it. And they auditioned Danzig, who was a big Wolverine fan. 
and he didn't quite make it. I think he was having issues at that time or something or another, and he wasn't the right Wolverine. Um, Hugh Jackman was the perfect one. They couldn't have found somebody better. And uh, that's about it for Wolverine, and that's the sum up of his first comic book. So I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye.